Hi, I'm in my friend's farm on the southwestern coast of England and I am so excited. This is a spot of lunch that has been laid for us, laid out for us. We're in the conservatory. Nothing on... There's the sea, which we would go to either today evening for the sunset or tomorrow. Um, just look at that view. The air is very fresh here and it's so quiet. I love it when plants grow wild, don't you? So this is one part of the garden. You know, it's very difficult to film everything because there's so much and I don't want to bore you with a lot. So I'm just going to film what I can. Trees, 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 trees. Grass for us. Oh, everywhere here. Um, <laughs> look at these. So. I come into more here. Lovely colors. That's one of the doorways to the barn, which is where we'll be staying. Hello, Bobby. Remember me? Of course you do, my darling. I met him when he was a little puppy and now he's all grown up. Let me hug you and kiss you soon. Let me switch this camera off. Just look at that. Grapes. Grapes growing indoors. Ooh, that's the... I think that's the beginning of the grapevine and it's growing indoors all over here look at that beautiful going all the way there right down there this is the conservatory and the table has already been laid for dinner the food has to come yet and that's for the children this is for the adults i absolutely love doing this mm -hmm. oh so delicious let's try more Homegrown grapes, you know? Amazing. That's today's yes, yes. dinner. Ah! Oi, oi. That is uh, beans, oi. tomatoes from the farm, <laughs> wonderful this seafood curries, all fresh seafood from the southwestern coast, and rice and wine. More wine coming. Isn't that fantastic? All oh, the aromas of that curry. Mm. I just came into their enclosure, and now they all think that. I'm going to feed them, but they've already been fed by my friend. There's the rooster coming in. I mean, he's gorgeous, isn't he? My goodness. Aren't you a beauty? Handsome young boy. Well, handsome man. <laughs> now let's go this way. Oh, almost fell. Here are the geese. I think it's this, the, the brown one is Canada goose, I think. Hello. Why are you all running away from me? And the sheep. I mean, honestly, animals love me, but this this lot. Uh... Hello, darlings. There's that one there, the lone sheep. There's always that one that goes away from the team, herd, flock, whatever. Oh, those the Shetland ponies. There, I'll show them up close soon. Hello. <laughs> Sweetheart. Remember me? Look at him. Beautiful eyes they've got. They're coming to say hello. This one here has a lovely color on the head. Silverish. Oh, just look at that view, huh? Gorgeous. And there, if you look closely, there's a holiday home. That's a cottage. I have been in that cottage. It's quite a trek, but not that far. See those flowers? Those flowers and several other flowers that we have in our garden in uh, Spitalfields in London. They're all from here. 
is our friend gave us the the plants. Sunflowers. Oh, I love sunflowers. They remind me of Sri Lanka. Oh, this is another another plot. Wonder how many plots are here. To be honest, huge. No point in filming everything, but. I think those flowers are called dancing ladies. I think. I'm not sure. We have them in Spitalfields. Oh, that's a mirror. Hello. Ooh. Uh, she's busy eating, so she's uh, not paying any attention. They are aging, these horses, actually. I, I remember them, you know. I don't know if they remember me. Sweetheart. What's up with them? They usually come running when I come. Hmm. That one there in the purple coat uh, used to be little and now she's grown. And I'm not sure what that white cap is all about. Look at that. Oh. Perhaps they're so bored. Are you bored? No? Okay. And I'll give you a better look at this one. Uh, despite aging, she is. She looks gorgeous, sweetie. The fields are vast. It's actually a massive estate farm. Well, now, now I'm going to show you something really cute. And can you hear them? Oh, look at them! Can you guess what they are? They're baby turkeys. They're being raised, so in time for Christmas, they will be big and fat. Oh, darlings. Do you call them turkey chicks or do you call them turklings? Like ducklings. Oh, cute. Oh, sweetheart. I've actually been on this tra tractor once with the farm manager. I was at the back. And he was in the front. I think I was at the back with the dogs, yeah. Oh, weren't those chicks cute, you know. Last time I was here, there were ducklings. No, hold on, before that. Two years ago? Something like that. And there were little ducklings. And I carried some of the, one of them and kissed, kissed that one. And then the one went, blah, 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 and started kind of really quacking and fluttering his uh, wings. Then the others came running to me as if they wanted to rescue him from me. That was really, really cute. So many routes and pathways, logs for the fireplace, but I don't think they use it now in summer, obviously. I find this hilarious. Toilet, convenience, the little room, restroom, shit house, boglu, kasi. I don't know what kasi is. Ladies, gents, others. Oh, who are the others? Oh, well, I know. This is for decoration, apparently. There are no fish here. But the water somehow goes through to the, the gardens or something. I can't really remember exactly what they told me. But, uh, oh, there's an elephant statue there. And there's a mirror in which I can see me. Look at the shoes there. Yeah. And the shoes here, the soles of the feet, all clean. And that's despite, you know, uh, trampling or stepping on goose droppings and other animal feces and uh, cow, uh, pony dung and whatnot. But because I was walking on all those parts, sand, stones, grass, it's, it somehow cleaned out all of that from the soles of my feet. So that's remarkable. Mother Nature is also a cleaner. Look at that apple tree. The bottom you can see the trunk of the tree. And now we get close. Ooh, it's quite... Oh, clusters of apples. More apples. I've tasted these apples. Very juicy indeed. Plants being watered. The lady of the manor is watering them. This is basically my friend's son's head. Uh, I first met him when he was two years old. Cute little thing. Now he's how old, Sarah? Yeah, Eight. Eight. Okay. They grow up so fast. No, I think I met him when he was four or something. Just look at that. It's like a design. You know, it's like it's, like it's been styled that way. And the tints here look like highlights. It's 
almost like a rooftop made out of leaves. Now we are going down here. I will show you the garden of the pool. Roses. Plants climbing up the trees. So this is all. I, I love kind of plants climbing up the trees. It's gorgeous. This so wild kind of feel as if the garden planted itself naturally. So nice. And so you can see all this. This is the pool. It's closed for the moment, but I'll have to open it at some point so that we can all have a little swim. And in here is the steam room. Oh, doesn't seem to be in use. Have they turned it into a bed? No, I don't think so. Well, I've got you to no. navigate. Look why, at why this. Why don't you spend a hundred bits of time on navigating the <laughs> What were you in All your I said was that we should have, I wanted to have a little bit of lunch and nobody else seemed to want to have it. And then our host just put this together and she kept adding on to it. And now we're going to be carrying more calories within us when we get back to London. This she put together as a presentation. And I just, uh, I said, you're planning it properly, you're coordinating it. She said, no, but I think it's because it's a bit like when you're getting dressed in a hurry, you see. You don't realize it that you're coordinating your clothes, accessories, so long as you have a good sense of style and fashion. And that's what she's done here. She's, this is style. Oh, I love the smell of rosemary, don't you? This is the rosemary bush. It's quite huge. Oh, where is it? Okay, there it is. This is the room I usually stay in. And sometimes I would take a nap here with the doggy. And I used to take a book from here and then read it while soaking on this beautiful bathtub with legs on, almost Edwardian, and watching at that scenery and listening to the tweeting birds. So uh, today I said I would spend the time with the children because uh, one of them said you have to you have to spend stay longer and I can't stay for longer because I have to leave tomorrow. So today I said, okay, I'm going to spend as much time as possible with you lot. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Do you want to come? That's today's lunch, late lunch, which is a simple one. Simple salad and chips and bread and cheese and taro masalata and guacamole. So people have to help themselves. Oh, just look at those flowers. Oh, and there's wine. Now we are about to play cards. See? Yeah, and Mimi is in charge of my schedule today. And he's going to teach me how to play this particular game, which I don't know how to play. Ready? Ready, steady, go. Oh, fantastic. Go, yeah. Okay, right. And the jump. Come on, jump. Wow, you are very athletic. Go. Wow. This is my new friend, Helen. She's visiting. <laughs> She's a bit shy. I thought Mimi is going to block the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so Kitty was about uh, two years old when I met her. Um, no, one year old. Now she's five. So the first time I met, she, he, she was one. She used to mess up my hair. and It's a cute little thing. A roly-poly. And now she's grown. Hi, Josie. Hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I don't think it's very safe for you to be on the roof. I mean, get off the roof. Go back. Go over to the wall and then come back to the pool. 
Come on. Yeah, young people don't really sense danger, do they? Children even. Go! Oh, good. Good boy. Now come down to the pool. Now we go up the steps. Got a... Oh, it's an old fireplace. It's a lovely space, if not for my clothes lying everywhere. And uh, oh, another bookcase. DVD case. I like these old walls that are patched up like this, you know. And this, the ceiling is also very old. There's a skylight here, there's a skylight in the bathroom. And uh, we go in here. Oh, love that old wooden. What is it? Bookcase slash chest of drawers and cupboards. We come in here. This is the bedroom my friend is staying in. Oh, there's a door. I wonder where this leads to. Let's try. Oh, 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 oh God. Okay, this go, goes to the... <laughs> Just shut that. Okay, yeah. And, oh, paintings of birds. Bed. <laughs> My friend's clothes everywhere. Oh, look at that. Nice. Ta. This, this lot are still in the pool and it's getting chilly. Now, I don't really know what these roses are called, but... Oh, the heady fragrance, you know. Serious glasses. That's the uh, Arca. Something's being done here. Well, that's good. You've and, tried. And, and Manuel got to be almost the hero of the hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was about I usually am. Exactly what I was so there's some pizzas here. Well, that's interesting. Are, yeah. Oh, God. Lots of knives. Yes, fantastic. Love a sharp knife. And uh, a very old fashioned kitchen. And if. And if there were pots and pans hanging from the ceiling, this would be Mrs. Weasley's kitchen from Harry Potter. Yes. So, look at the larder. Oh my. Look at this. Lots of stuff in here. Jams, all homemade jams and syrups and this and that and everything. I love a good larder, don't you? It's very vintage. It's old fashioned. Oh, look at this wallpaper, uh, wall, that wallpaper. Another mirror. <laughs> books, again. I don't know why people have books in the toilet, I mean, to be honest. Do they have too many books that they don't have space to put them? Another, uh, well, it's a TV room. There's another fireplace here. Books and CDs. Lots of pictures of uh, dogs and pets and lamb, sheep, uh, alpaca, everything. The pictures, there are loads of pictures here and a uh, huge sofa so we can all sit here and watch movie. Um, oh, what a lovely carpet. Uh, probably a Persian carpet, I think. Okay. Right. Oh, that's a, a rocking duck. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, my finger is in the way. Gosh, I'm so bad at filming things. Again, lots of old wood. Vintage, retro wallpaper. So we go up here and there's all these beautiful paintings. I don't think any of these are antiques. They're probably antiquities, I think. I'm not sure though. Okay, um, the carpet has been here for a long time. So we go up here. And there's one bedroom there. I don't want to go in there because people live there. There's this one full of clothes, beautiful uh, cupboard. This one's got one of those old fashioned loose. See with the chain there uh, that you pull to flush, red walls. Bookcase here, lots of interesting books here. I used to read some of the books here. See, there's a lovely chandelier here, and uh, obviously lights instead of candles. Another loo. Oh, lovely colors here. I've actually had a bath here once. Again, bathtub with legs. More paintings. Definitely some children have been in here. I mean, look at this mess. Bunk beds. I mean, who will sleep there? Maybe bounce up and down there? 
There's a tablet or something there. Oh, stuffed toys. Oh, hello. Hello, baby. Oh, where's the head? Where's the head? Hello, sweetheart. Oh, this one is so cute. Look at him. Cutie. Another cutie there. That's too tired to get up. Ah, the horse. Love horses, actually. Another library. Oh, there's a duck there. Oh, some sort of duck. More books. I think people here love to read and people here love to... Maybe they're hoarders. They just kind of collect things. I'm a human line hybrid. One of the kids masks, I think. For some bizarre reason, it fits me. So maybe the said, said kid had a huge head. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course, I love this. Maybe I would take this back to London with me. There's a coastal area. It's a fish and shellfish. Um, all the fish and shellfish are listed here. Mm. White wine in the fridge, red wine is stocked here. That's a Ooh, okay, some rather vintage painting. Eggs from the chickens' hens they raise. Wellington boots that they use in winter. I've been here in winter and I've used the same boots to go through the farm. You know, all those old coats or jerk jackets or whatever they call them. I don't know. And uh, okay, well. When you have guests and you have a party every day, this is what happens. More empty bottles. Lordy, lordy. I do like this area for some bizarre reason. It just reminds me of my auntie's house in Sri Lanka. Well, a house that she had, but she has sold it now. Love those steps, old steps. Is that an open fridge with empty bottles? Is there some stuff in there as well? Oh dear, what is this? This, this actually reminds me of those Places you see in films like A Wrong Turn or The Hills Have Eyes. Okay. It's the perfect set for a horror film, I think. I don't know what's going on in here, but we are in the countryside after all. So, um, oh, look at those. Mm, to murder somebody. Yes. The thing. All these spiky thingies. To bury bodies. To set people on fire. <laughs> well, it's not true, but that's I'm fantasizing about horror because I love horror. Whew, gosh, I'm exhausted actually. Imagine having to maintain such a huge house and the barn and the farm and the animals, like the whole thing would must be exhausting. But I guess if you have a passion for it, you know, then you can do it. Food. Huh? Right. It's my food. Is this, what is this? Chicken McNuggets. Chicken Nuggets, okay. Chicken McNuggets. Pizza. Just Nuggets, just Nuggets. That's for the children because for some bizarre reason they don't want to eat our food. They're having other food. And this is some, some saladish thing there. There's curry. There's peppers. There's rice. This is the last supper because we are leaving tomorrow. So therefore, this is the food. The last supper. The last dessert. So this is a, is a chocolate? Chocolate mousse? Chocolate mousse. On pears. And the pears. On okay. pears. On Ooh, pears, pears, the fruit. Okay. It's like the most difficult selfie ever. <laughs> but we, we, we kind of, we, 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 we have, we've got there. Okay. okay. This is a video moment because there's no point in doing a picture here because that, picture. that, yes, yes. It is illegal to take vehicles on the beach. Look at those three. They like to lead the way. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you have to really watch where you're going. You might slip sometimes, but it's a downhill walk. But coming uphill, ooh, that is tough. You will see soon. <laughs> Obviously, the children didn't wait for us. They have started already. Yes, of course. They have no etiquette or manners. No, they no. Have, they Mama, did not wait Mama for us. Me. We should yeah, start. Yes. Well, that's wrong. Your mother is wrong. Just look at that. Sun shining, birds flying. Gorgeous. Yeah, he's he's here. He's ready for dinner. <laughs> Ah, 
I am going to a secluded beach, a cove, with friends and kids. The kids are going before us, you know. <laughs> There's a little pond lake here. Uh, wow, this is beautiful. Every time I come here, it feels like I'm coming here for the first time, you know. So gorgeous. Yeah, this young man is laying out the table. And uh, yeah, he's, he's, he, yeah, he, he's doing it. Yeah, he's, he's working. He knows how to lay a table. Fantastic. Yes, of course. We are not finished yet. So everybody start, started eating and they left you here. <laughs> this is not fair. I mean, they have started eating. Okay. And they've just left you here. They have to start once you finish. <laughs> they don't know etiquette. They don't have any manners. <laughs> I will help you, darling. Yes. Now let him swim in. Let him swim in. Now he wants his. A little splash. Thank you. Oof. Barbecue yeah, today yeah. in the farm. Sausages. Is that all we are having? Sausages. No. Yeah. And we got to turn That's those over. And so we have good. these prepared lamb. Nice. And more nice. sausages. Okay. Uh, more sausages and we prepare okay and this is sarah the chef? the chef she is doing well she started the barbecue yeah and uh, yeah. jamie is uh, helping her doing the yes i'm i'm barbecue. just a sous chef yes he's a <laughs> shoe sous sous chef. Chef. <laughs> shoe the shoe chef, chef sous chef commis chef <laughs> and we have uh, everybody gathering here and uh, children are playing Will you look at that view? Do it again. Do it again. Okay. Do that again. Yes. Okay. Look at this. Look at this young man. Oh, Benito wants to the action. <laughs> so here you have the, the hills and the. That's a. That's a cottage on a rock or hill or cliff, I don't know. Lots of people there and uh, vehicles there. Because they come from somewhere else and they have to get a permit to park. There's a secluded beach. And then you can see um, boats. Beautiful beach. Very, very... Used to be a secluded beach, but lately I think word has got around that there is a beach here somewhere. And... Uh, those cliffs I've been up. I've been up those cliffs. We're waiting for our friends and here they are. They're coming. I can't see them. Oh, I can see them. Oh, what a fantastic holiday that was. I love going to the countryside. I love going to the seaside, the hills and everything. And it's so amazing, isn't it? I mean, I think everybody should have this kind of rural holidays in summer. So I hope you enjoyed this. And if you liked it, uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, comment, like, share, blah, blah, blah.